Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your weekly sculpts. Please keep in mind this is only a general reading. Take what feels right and with what resonates with your life experiences at the moment. So, Gemini, it's a good week to realize something that was uh, hidden or occult from your awareness, from your perception. Some type of dishonest, not um, not the best behavior that was directed towards you or through you as well. It can always go both ways, this energy. So some type of situation that was not that was not based on the right on the right way of um, behaving, on the right way of handling situations in a way where people try to get away with what they did or what they said or uh, without facing the consequences and paying the price of their actions. And so this week you can become aware of something that was stolen from you, something that was taken away from you, something that was misinterpreted from you that you didn't see before. As well as if you have or if you did something like that, it could um, reflect itself back to you. And the advice is to put and grab this awareness to become much more much more mentally ready to uh, stand up for yourself, stand up for your, for your ideas, watch the way you communicate, watch the way you speak, watch the way you use your mind to handle the situations. So as a main opportunity, you have the Seven of Swords and advice the Knight of Swords. So a lot of sword energy as your best options this week, which intends to put a focus on Standing up for what you believe, standing up for your mind, using your mind in its best way without rushing too fast to attack, without understanding first what is happening and without standing still, doing nothing, waiting for the situation to fix itself. So both ways, both energies need to find a balance, which is for you to know when to move and you to know when to stop to know when to talk and when to silence yourself. And maybe you will discover something or you will see something that will make you upset and you will rush into um, making something happen to defend yourself, to defend your your cause and, and what it is that happened that was not right here in the Seven of Swords. And so you, the advice for you this week is to do that, yes, but to be aware of the use of your mind, to not be... Um, to not be so impulsive that you make the situation even worse or or you aggravate the 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 the, um, the situation that happened in the first place as well the challenge is the two of wands so the challenge was probably a lack of awareness on a partnership a lack of organization in a plan a lack of uh broadening your perspective about what happened, what should have happened, what should have been done in, in this planning, in this look at the horizon, in this uh, desire to expand. So there was a desire to expand that now feels challenging. So there was a desire to do something, probably with a partnership or with someone else, or just you wanting to begin something new and uh, this project, this idea, this creative desire, which, which had a lot of passion in it, to start thinking bigger, stop thinking so small about what you had, but maybe the plan, the organization, the way it was done, it was not the right way, and now you will need to face the, the consequences of the lack of discernment and the lack of organization there. So the advice for you this week is to stand up for yourself, to defend yourself, to defend your ideas, your projects, to not try to run away with the situations, to to, to not try to avoid facing the problems and facing the consequences of whatever is happening. Instead, pushing forward, knowing that you have your mind in the right place to guide you, to communicate, to talk about it, to defend yourself, to express yourself, and to put you out of the situation without needing to avoid it or fake it or not facing it in a realistic way. Either way, it's about discernment, uh, use of your intellect, 
use of your smart, intelligent brain to find a way out of the maze of the situation. And you as a Gemini, you are the brilliant mind, the brilliant communicator. No one else can do that better than you. So I hope you have a great week. Thank you for listening, liking, and subscribing. And hopefully we'll see each other next week.